Hi, my name is Mike, and in this video we're going to take a look at replacing the taillights on our first generation Chevy Colorado pickup. The reason I need to replace my taillights is I had an unfortunate encounter with an automatic car wash a few days ago, and it tore off one of my taillights. You see I've got these brush guards on the back to protect them, but unfortunately that didn't protect it in this case. This was my previous tail light, and you can see it broke the plastic here and here and also one of these posts that hold them on. Fortunately I found someone in the forum who had a truck that they were parting out and I was able to get a spare off of him and get myself back on the road quickly. But I'm pretty OCD and I like my truck to look good and I like everything to match. So I went ahead and ordered a new pair of tail lights from Rock Auto. You can typically find these online for between $50 to $75 for the pair. The parts that I ordered were, the manufacturer is TYC. 1159-4400 and 1159-4300. This came as a pair with the left and right sides. And it also has the GM part numbers, GM2801164 and 2800164. To replace these tail lights, you only need a standard Phillips head screwdriver. They're held in with two screws which with the tailgate down, you can see one through there and the other one down here. Again, your setup might look a little bit different than mine because I've got these brush guards on the back. Since my replacement taillights included bulbs and wiring harness, I'm also going to be replacing the wiring harness, which you can see underneath of the vehicle where it plugs in. I'll just slide under the truck here and show that to you real quick. Anytime you're underneath your truck is usually a good time to inspect for rust, especially in the areas near the leaf springs where it's a common rust point where they attach to the frame and the bottom of your frame. So I'll show you the wiring harness connector on the driver's side is right up there. And that just sort of snakes down through. Let's see if I can get my hand right here. I've got my hand on it, right through the back of the tail light, right down to underneath the bed where it plugs into the vehicle wiring harness connector. It's the same thing on the passenger side over here. It appears to be a different size connector on the, between the driver and passenger side, but same setup, just runs down from the tail light housing assembly over part of the frame and to that connector right there. I'm going to set the camera on the tripod for a few minutes while I unhook one of these. Again, your setup might be slightly easier than mine if you don't have the tail light brush guards. So the new wiring harness even included this little clip right here, which is handy to hold it to the body of the vehicle. And then once you get it routed correctly, the last step is to just reconnect your connectors. And one other tip I can offer while underneath your vehicle is, especially if you do a lot of off-roading or mudding or anything while you're under here, you can spray everything down with some electronic cleaner, especially around the electrical connections. So that's it for this side. I'm going to pause the camera again while I go over and do the passenger side.
And that's pretty much it. One other tip I can suggest is if you don't have an assistant to help you test this by pressing on the brake pedal, just get yourself a broom handle or something to wedge on the brake pedal there so that you can make sure your lights are working before you head on down the road. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, please like and subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of different car repair videos as well as computer repair videos, and I hope to do a lot more in the future. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Have a great day, and stay safe out there.